Lance X Nick by Shrek's Milk Titties. Lance walks down the hallways of his new school, shyly tucking a piece of his hair behind his ear. He had recently moved here from his hometown to a new school, and he had no friends. His gaze reached the ground before he hit something. Ouch! Lance was knocked to the ground and looked up with tears bringing his eyes from the hit. You should really watch where you're going. A five foot four boy stood in front of him with a mop chair and a Trump 2020 hat on. I I, am so sorry. Oh, Nico. The name's Nick. Don't worry about it. I was just worried about you. Lance blushed as he took Nick's hand that was extended to lift him up. Nick used too much force with his oh-so-luscious muscles, and Lance practically flew into his chest. Disruption. Lance shouted as he was pushed back against Nick's rock-hard chest. He could hear his heart beat and looked up at Nick's face. You remind me of my boyfriend. Lance looked hurt at the mere comment of him having a lover. He knew right then and there he would not be defeated by someone else. He will become Nick's only love and have his babies. Chapter 2 Lance huffs as he pushes away from Nick's chest. He picks up his books that were scattered after the fall and clutched them in his arms. Before running off, he took a glance at Nick. He took in features he never saw before he turned his back and quietly walked to his locker. Is this the one? No. Maybe this? He scavenged the obviously unorganized locker bank for the number assigned to him. The bell had already rung, but he figured with being a new student and all, it wouldn't hurt him to be late. Ah, finally! Just before Lance was about to enter his new locker, a hand stuck out beside him, creating a cage. No Lance's knows. breathing sped up and thoughts Get started to race throughout his head. Political fights. Is it from someone him? Who can't even Lance vote. closed his eyes and slowly turned around before opening them with a slight hesitance. The eyes he was met with was not of Nick, but another boy he had yet to see. Who are you? Lance asked in timid voice, please playing with his blonde hair before making eye contact with the boy. The name's Conservative. My full name is Conservative Hype House. Lance squinted his eyes. Who the fuck names their kid that? Conservative looked hurt and took their hand off the locker, uncaging Lance. I can't help it, Uwu. Lance hugged Conservative. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Let's be friends, okay? I am new to the school. The name's Lance. Lance Gaylor. Conservative made a toothy smile, except he had no teeth. Lance turned around and put a code into his locker and opened it. He placed the contents within his bag that were not needed. Before he closed the locker, he turned around, but Conservative was nowhere to be seen. Weird. He started to walk towards the classroom and waited nervously at the door, negotiating with himself whether he was ready to start a new life. Unfortunately, before he could make the decision, somebody opened the door for him. Offerino! Lance fell to the ground and burst into tears and held onto his head that was just hurt from the mere impact of the door. He looked up at the culprit of this injury. He knew daddy's money could sue whoever did this to the precious Gaylor heir. You again? Lance's mouth dropped open as Nick crouched down next to him. It seems like fate that we keep meeting, Nick commented. His eyes focused on Lance, and without a word he put his hands on Lance's faces. Lance trembled at his touch. The injury is no good. We have to go to the infirmary. Lance was confused when Nick started to pull his hand under his leg, but all became clear as Nick picked up Lance with his beefy moto-moto arms. I'll take you. You might have a concussion. I can't let an injured new student walk to the infirmary alone, can I? Nick video. 
Nick gazed into Lance's eyes before Lance retreated his gaze from Nick's and nodded his head profusely. Chapter 3 Nick's strong, beefy, oh-so-masculine arms carried Lance all the way to the infirmary. Of course, stairs were caught by other students, wondering how the two got so close. Suddenly, the hallway was blocked. So the wallet has arrived. The gang of the school, the barbs, appeared before them. Lance felt Nick's arms tremble and looked at his face. It was frozen in place from fear. No, no, not like this. All of a sudden, Nicki Minaj, Onika Mirage, Roman, appeared before them with her snatched waist and big voluptuous round massive coochie. We've come here to defeat you, Nikki Poo. Prepare to die. Nikki released the smells from her massive coochie, and soon a beautiful aroma filled the air. Nick, with Lance still in his arm, ran in the opposite direction. After him, Roman said. The barbs chanted, and the sound of their footsteps not far behind. Nick and Lance were heard. Who are they? What are they going to do to us? Why are they so mad? Lance shouted over the uproar the barbs were making. Don't worry about it. I'll explain later. Nick turned a corner and opened a door to a janitor's closet. He quickly put Lance down and closed the door behind him. It was a tight fit. Lance gasped as Nick's body pushed up against him. He put his hand over Lance's mouth, putting one finger up to his own lips. Shh! Footsteps were heard. Where did that toolbox go? Let's split up, ladies and gays. Nick held his breath before no more footsteps could be heard. He took his hand off Lance's mouth before releasing a breath and hanging his head. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Lance froze in hesitation to answer as his heart was beating so fast out of panic. He brought up a question from earlier. So, who's your boyfriend? Nick stared into Lance's eyes before smiling. Well, he's not just my boyfriend. Lance's curious gaze penetrated into Nick. Well, what is he then? Nick's gaze trailed off Lance and onto the floor. With a deep breath, he raised his head and spoke the words. My boyfriend is Donald J. Trump, and well, he's my stepdad. Chapter 4 Lance gasped when he heard the answer. Nick looked in the eyes, confused by his reactions. This is impossible! Lance started to panic before Nick put his hands on both sides of Lance's face and stared into his eyes. What is? Lance bit his lip and looked down. He was embarrassed for what he was about to say. Donald Trump is also my stepdad. Nick took both of his hands off of Nick's face and backed up, getting a sudden headache. How? He's always been my daddy, my superhero. Nick video. This brought tears to Lance's eyes, for he too had called his daddy his superhero. Lance took a deep breath before looking at Nick directly in the eyes. You... You know what this means, right? Oh, Nick. It all became clear when Lance took Nick's face into his hands and gave him the fattest, juiciest, throbbing kiss of the century, tongue included. Nick returned the favor before staring into Lance's eyes. What does it mean? Lance hugged Nick and buried his face into the nook of Nick's neck. We are a real couple now. Their lips were about to meet again before footsteps were heard again. Lance looked to the origin of them and was surprised to see Conservative Hype House standing there. All of a sudden, Conservative's eyes turned red and his expression turned into somewhat of a bulldog. He started to charge towards them on all fours. Nicky Poo, you're cheating on me with them? Lance was confused. But Nick took his hand, and they started to run towards an empty classroom. He pulled Lance in and locked the door. Fortunately, this room was a lot bigger than the janitor's closet. They were able to freely roam. Nick put his back to the door and slid down before putting his head into his hands. Ugh, I can't get it rid of that freak. 
Lance looked sympathetically towards Nick. What do you mean? Nick took his head out of his hands and took a deep breath. Uh, that's my ex from a while ago. They're still obsessed with me. And any time they see me, they act like a territorial dog. Lance thought of his encounter earlier with the creature. It did seem kind of clingy. But he didn't think they were that bad. All of a sudden, his thoughts were interrupted. Are you guys done having a pity putty? I'm trying to study here. They looked towards the corner of the room before seeing a girl. Nick scowled. Who are you? Lance questioned. The name's Ashley, kid. My nickname is That Liberal Girl. Chapter 5 Can you stop staring at me and get the fuck out of my classroom? I'm trying to be productive unlike some people. Ashley glared at Nick after her statement. Lance glanced at Nick to see his reaction, and he looked furious. <clears throat> I'm more productive than you, stupid liberal. Ashley shrugged her shoulders and flipped her hair before returning to her work. At least I win debates. Nick stared towards her with his fist up, but Lance caught his wrist. She snickered. What are you going to do? Hit me? Nick turned around and stormed out the door. Lance followed close behind and was looking at Nick's very big, juicy, dainty, delicious, above-average, generous, gentle, hearty buns before his thoughts were interrupted. I'm sorry how I acted put up there. She gets on my nerves a lot. Lance wrapped his arm around Nick's shoulders. It's alright. We can make a revenge plan against her. Nick's eyes lit up. You think so? Lance smirked. I know so. Lance checked the rust on his wrist and gasped. Oh my god, we've missed half of school day already. We need to get out of class. Nick took a peek at this time and nodded his head in agreement. They joined their hands and walked to the next class together. It wasn't long before they heard a noise. It wasn't any noise, though. It sounded almost like an animal. A horse, maybe? Lance stopped in his tracks and listened. Nick looked back because of his sudden stop. What is the matter? Are you tired? Lance shook his head and put his hands together to his lips to signify keeping quiet. They both waited in anticipation of another sound. All of a sudden, it was heard again. Lance looked confused. What is that noise? It all became clear with a dirty, blonde-haired bitch appeared from all corners on all fours. She had a MAGA 2020 hat on, a plaid shirt, mom jeans, and cowboy's boots. Nay! Bitch, move! Lance took a step back out of fear before Nick secured his hand around her, his wrist. She's nothing to be afraid of. That's my cousin. Her name is Liberty Mustang. The girl approached them on all fours and started to kick up imaginary dirt before she bucked. Howdy, y'all. Who is this, Nick? Does he want to play horses with me? Hey! Lance looked terrified as the girl started to sniff him in places he doesn't want to talk about. No, Liberty. This is my boyfriend and brother. His name is Lance. Liberty stopped smelling Lance and looked curiously at him. Chapter 6 OMG! Nay! I completely support you two. Not your lifestyle, though. When's the wedding? Lance blushes as he looks at Nick for response. Nick does the same, then reverts his gaze back to Liberty. It will be next month. Liberty neighed with happiness before galloping off to what seems like her next class. Nick grabbed Lance's hand and did the same. Once they arrived to class, they were greeted by a girl in a cow onesie. You guys are late. Take your seats now. The lady grabbed the milk carton sitting on her desk with a metal straw and slurped with sass. As the two boys took their seats, Lance leaned over to Nick. Who is that? Her name is Mrs. Katharina. Oddly enough, she hates the men that go to the school. Lance looked at the lady who was still obnoxiously slurping milk. He knew just by looking at her he despised her. We should plot to get rid of her. Nick looked at Lance. Why would you want to do that? I don't know why. I just don't like her. Lance pouted. I understand. 
The lesson went on, and Nick and Lance's hands were still conjoined. It was a nice class, except for the occasional neighing of liberty in the corner. They knew they were meant to last forever. Chapter 7 Soon, the bell rang. Lance and Nick, still holding hands, got up to leave the class. It's finally over. Ugh, I'm starving. Where's the cafeteria? Lance questioned. I'll lead you, babe. Nick took Lance's hand as they headed towards a large opening in a corridor. All of a sudden, Lance dug his heels into the ground and caused a sudden stop. Nick looked back confused. What's wrong? I just realized I forgot my books in the classroom. I'll be right back. Just wait here for me. I'll find my way. Lance turned away before Nick could make a response and ran into the classroom. He was about to open the door before he heard the sound coming from inside the door. It sounded almost as if someone was moaning in pain. Oh no, maybe someone got hurt. I have to go check on them. Lance tried the doorknob, but it was locked. So using his big muscle strong quads, he busted down the door. I'm here to help. Lance's voice trailed off as he was met with the eyes of Liberty, and on top of her with a girl with long curly hair and blue eyes. Hey, get out! Hey! Lance shut the door tight, traumatized by what he just saw. The men were making out. No, touch. No. Who was on top of Liberty looked like a teacher. Nick Lance videos. realized he still needed to get his books, but just decided to come back tomorrow and get them. He couldn't face Liberty after Lance, the he, what he just saw. Musician. He composed himself and pushed himself off the ground before walking back up in the direction of oh, the lunchroom. Nika. Nick was in the Minaj. exact position before Lance had left. Nick, is there a teacher you know with more. blonde curly hair and blue eyes? On a wild Nick thought for a second before a light bulb dies. came off in his head. Oh yeah, she's our political science teacher. Her name is... Caitlin Bennett, but she likes to be called Mrs. Bennett. Lance scratched the back of her his head before looking back at Nick. Is she married? Yeah. Why does it matter? Lance glanced in the hallway. He just came down before taking a deep breath. I'm pretty sure I just witnessed an affair going on then. Nick gasped. With who? What teacher? Not teacher. Nick's eyes got as wide as saucers. Uh, a student? Lance gulped and nodded his head. Who, who was it? Nick asked. Lance looked down at the ground. He didn't want to tell Nick that his cousin was in love with the teacher. Well, my eyes could have very well be deceiving me, but I swear, I swear I saw Liberty Mustang. To be continued.